Oh gosh, I'm recording. Now that you've seen my lovely illustrations, let's start. So, the South American animals. We're going to start with the predator side. So, number one, we have the puma. And you can see that's my really drawing, like, what the heck. And then, so, pumas are a lot different from jaguars because they're a lot, well, fatter. And uh, they'll eat just about the same thing, but it's just going to be harder for them to catch stuff. So, they usually pounce, or pounce from trees. Next, we have the green anaconda. Uh, he'll typically eat anything. They get up to about 20 feet long, females do, and then the males get up to about 12 feet long, 12 to 15. And they'll eat about anything. They Most most of the time, they'll eat either alligators if they can get to them, which he's eating one right now, so that doesn't really make sense, or, aha, or this terrible drawing of a capybara right here, which this guy's eating, and he happens to be very big. But... There's that, another capybara. Um, last uh, for the predators is the chichilid. I think is how you say it. Probably not. Uh, this is actually a really cool fish, and it eats other fish. What you can see, they sell them at the pet stores, and they have to separate them from the other fish because they'll eat all of them. Yeah, pretty freaky looking guys right there. Uh, next, let's move on to the nice guys. These are not necessarily. Uh, herbivores, they're more nice guys, you know. So this is the tamarind monkey. That's my really drawing for this side, because, oh, it looks, you can only see the beard. Um, they'll typically eat fruit, but they're also, uh, have to be careful because a lot of other animals will eat them. Rip. Next dude is my lovely sloth. Um, kind of looks like a bear, actually. Whatever. Uh, sloths are herbivores, too, probably because they're too slow to catch anything. Uh, so they're just going to use those nasty-looking claws right there for fruit and getting stuff and crawling on trees and stuff like that, you know. Last but not least, we have the toucan, who's definitely have the beaks to crack open nuts and stuff, but those things are also used to, you know, crack open birds, you know. Uh, yeah, so they, they'll eat. Um, he doesn't look very nice, but... They'll eat other birds. I also I actually watched a video on Nat Geo Wild of him eating, not this dude, but a toucan eating a uh, a parrot. Yeah, pretty crazy dudes. Looking up on birds too. Um, so that's most of them. Um, there's still a lot more. There's still lots of stuff. I just couldn't fit it onto this board. But moving on, let's move on to my bonus animal. That is a pelican. Notice his beak is a lot different from the toucan. The bottom of it is big and the top of it's shorter. That's so he can hold water and fish in the lower beak while he devours them. Hey, there's a fish right there. Go figure. Uh, and then you see at the toucan, the top part of his beak is bigger than the lower part. So very different dudes right there. Let's name him Jimmy because I feel like it. So, And then you have my lovely drawing of a swamp slash pond. So, as I already showed you, you have this dude, Crocodile, eating a anaconda. And you have, oh yeah, the pythons also, since they're restrictors, will also hang from the trees like that. And, you know, freak them out when he gets up too close. And the dude's like, get up. So, there's that. Uh, those are mainly the all the things that live in the swamp. Like, the capybara will just go in there just to stay cool. Crocodiles obviously live in there. Uh... Anacondas will go on land too, uh, but they're mostly in the water. That's where they get all their food. Unless it's like a croc or something that's out of water, then boom, you have yourself a snack. Because crocodiles are actually strong, but not as strong as they are in water. But anacondas are pretty strong in and out. Uh, and here's my lovely little, of a little bird. And then you look at the tree. There's lots of wildlife in the tree. There's lots of snakes that are in a the tree. Uh, there's actually a place called Snake Island close to this, and it's home of the yellow snake, I believe, and they're very venomous, and they just live in trees, and drop on you, and eat you alive, so, yep, well, that's all for animals in the South American, I hope you enjoyed, because who wouldn't, I mean, come on now, the coolest animals on my board, I mean, seriously, if you don't care, why'd you watch the video, I mean, everyone likes it, right, be honest, and come on, people, comment on my post.
Thanks for watching.